Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Sunset Overdrive, showing you how to get the perfection achievement in the game. This one is for doing a perfect night defense. I recommend that you do progress through the game significantly in order to unlock better traps, better amps, overdrives, as well as better weapons. Start off by going to the old factory district brewery and make sure you refill your ammo using two hat jack. From that moment, what you're going to want to do is go up to where Floyd sits and accept the night defense. The night defense won't unlock until about 3 hours into the game, but I'd probably recommend you wait until you're about 10 hours into the game before trying this uh, achievement. I recommend that you have some good deployable weapons, some good explosive weapons, and also the freeze bomb gun. Um, deployable weapons will help you with the defense aspects, and the freeze gun will help you near the end. I'll show you what you should be doing, and a very good tactic to help you out here. What you're going to want to start by doing is uh, start by setting up your traps. I recommend two fling boards at each gate, as well as uh, two pyro traps kind of in the middle of these courtyards. You can also put a hack and slash right there, as I found that was pretty useful, and I always had some leftover um, energy for traps. So, like I, like I mentioned, um, two fling boards at each uh, gate entrance. There's only two gate entrances, really, uh, and then they have to get past a, a barrier. Two pyro boards kind of in the middle of the courtyards and then you can put a hack and slash wherever you like once you have those kind of traps set up again you can use your own uh, intellect here and just kind of experiment with a different set of traps that work better for your playstyle. these ones worked very well for me now that you have your trap set up make sure you turn the dial which will start the night cycle of the night defense and from here on out you're gonna want to go on the rail and come up to here and what I recommend by uh, starting to do is use deployable traps. So that's what you see me using right here. I used my acid sprinklers. Unfortunately, I didn't refill my ammo, uh, unlike I told you you guys should, which will definitely help you. Um, I already ran out of acid sprinklers, so I'm going to switch to my TNT Teddy as it's a good kind of defensive weapon, and you get a lot of... Um, you should be able to get a lot of kills with it pretty easily just by kind of launching it into large groups of enemies. Now what you see me doing here is kind of using the rails, using my T and, my T and Teddy in order to blow up big uh, groups of enemies and bouncing on my pyro traps as much as possible in order to kill any enemies that are nearby. Uh, this is a good tactic because uh, the pyro traps are very powerful and they have a good radius on them. So you can kill a huge amount of enemies uh, in the courtyards which are really the only two areas they're going to come from. You're also going to really want to focus on that minimap. That minimap does a great job at showing you exactly where enemies are going, coming from, what enemies you should look out for, uh, because there's uh, big red dots will mean that um, they're bigger, more powerful enemies. Um, and then you can also use like your flaming compensator which you're, once you run out of TNT teddies. Uh, other deployable weapons that are going to be very good for you if you go further in the game are the turret copter and um, there's also uh, a few other weapons that you, you should use, like the Acid Sprinkler, like I mentioned before. Um, now, with about 30 seconds left, it's very possible that a lot of the enemies made their way through the initial gate. What I recommend doing from this point on, this is a kind of a cheap but really easy tactic, is just stand in the front gate and freeze the enemies as best as you can. Uh, as you can see here, I'm freezing them and they're basically just going to stand there. They're going to block any other enemies that come through and they're also not going to attack your gate which is going to keep your gate intact. So as you see, there's three gates near your vat and as long as none of the enemies break through these last three gates and get into this uh, circle area and touch your vat, you will get the achievement decently easily. Um, if, you have, uh, if you are struggling, make sure you upgrade your weapons, upgrade your overdrives, uh, come back here once you've unlocked some more things, and you should be able to do this no problem. Make sure you have a good trap set up, and you can also use tactics like uh, deployable weapons that are good, like the proximity mine as well, and uh, you can also use that freeze bomb at the very last stage just to try to freeze all the enemies and really slow them down at that last crucial moment. That should help you unlock the achievement perfection. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video if you found it useful. You can also leave a comment, subscribe for more content, and hopefully I see you in my next video. Peace.